When you're first starting out with meditation, it can seem more than you can bite off, and it's really a lot less of an effort than you think it is. Um, what I, I'd like to tell you a story. When I had been meditating for a few years, I would go to the Tassajara Hot Springs in California, and I was afraid to meditate with the monks there because I didn't think I had the right form. And what I have noticed is that form is not as important as function. So what I mean by that is just start and you'll learn a lot of things about yourself as you go along. So don't hold yourself back because you think you're not doing it right because I'm sure you're doing just fine. And I'll be right here to help you as we go along. So the first thing to do is to think of it as a practice that you'll do every day. I like to do it in the morning. And ways that you can get ready to do that is to set aside five minutes to start. And as you're getting ready to meditate in the morning, think of it as time for yourself rather than hitting the snooze button, rushing and not eating. All those things will start to change once you give yourself even five minutes a day. It has helped me a lot just to set my mind and my day on the right course. So before you go to bed at night, the night before, make a pledge to yourself that you will awaken maybe just five minutes early, maybe 20 minutes or a half an hour. That's the part of the day for yourself. And ways that you can more easily start is to light some candles, have some incense burning, have a place that you do it. That helps a lot. And whether you use guided meditation or music to listen to, whatever it is that helps you to sit still and breathe deeply and connect to your divine nature, which is what it really is. There is this whole reservoir underneath the daily world that we can access, and I'm going to help you. So the first thing to keep in mind is to be very tender with yourself and patient. When you first start, you want to take some deep breaths and sit in a comfortable position so you don't have to sit in the lotus you don't have to hold your head a certain way. Uh, people say they have a straight back, do this particular style. And I've tried many different styles and really what works for me can work for you too. Just try different ways to get yourself to get your butt in the seat and do it. That's the real issue at hand here, just to get yourself on a regular daily practice. So, when you first start, you'll be taking some deep breaths and allowing your thoughts to float by like clouds. You're not trying to get rid of them, you're just letting them pass. So there is a difference. You observe them, but you let them go. And after some practice, you're going to start to notice that there's this opening in between seconds that you don't even have a thought, which is wonderful. And it might not happen right away, but just let it, allow it, let it come in. So for your first activity and your first meditation, try out the lighting candles, incense, taking deep breaths from your belly and taking slow breaths from your belly and give yourself five minutes. Take that time, claim it for yourself, and then we'll go on to the next step. So there's guided meditations that you can listen to that will help keep you focused. They're very short, five minutes or less, and enjoy and give yourself some time in a quiet place to begin. So when you have questions, please get in touch with me and I'll help you. Enjoy. Namaste. And aloha.